so this is what lives in your ground right you all got this you all have 2600 pounds of fun guys and uh, <laughs> I said I watched I was on a television show and they're talking about moles because of all the rain and stuff and the television announcer said well you must have some you're a fun guy and it just sticks in my head fun guys so <laughs> It's on a TV show. They don't have any idea what a fun guy is. <laughs> but if I said to you, how many do you have in your soil? And you say, well, I don't really know. Do I have to test? Well, I don't know. I don't think the tests are that good or that reliable. You can. Actinomyces would give it that earthy smell. Then there's bacteria. These are almost equal in proportion, aren't they? Then there's all these other little creatures. Is that what, does anybody really have what's on this screen, those exact numbers? Does anybody really know? No. Does anybody have it? No. What if I say to you, you're going to grow a crop that needs more bacteria. I want you to put more bacteria in the soil. What are you going to do? Spray some on? No. They're there because they got something to eat and the conditions are right for them. Just like if you're going to grow clover, you better feed them right and give them conditions right and that's how they grow. See how this works? So I want you to get more bacteria. So you remember, I run around this country trying to, trying to make things quite simple. We've gone out and sprayed bugs on. I let someone borrow my sprayer last year and I don't know where it went. I don't know if I even want to go looking for it. I think they turned it into a water tank for flowers. I don't know where it ended. We haven't got time. I'm not saying it's not valuable to foliar feed and go out and spray. If you got the conditions and the climate to get that soil working, 